Hi everyone, this is Ms. Helms, and by the end of this video, you should be able to formulate proofs using CPCTC. In this problem, we're given the information, segment DB bisects angle ABC, and side AB is congruent to side CB, and we're trying to prove that angle A is congruent to angle C. What we learned is that in order to prove that two parts of a triangle are congruent, we first need to prove that the triangles are congruent. We want to write our claim. What are we trying to prove? We're trying to prove that angle A is congruent to angle C. What information are we given? Well, we know that DB bisects angle ABC. And if we recall from our previous chapter, when um, an angle is bisected, that means it's split into two congruent angles. So we know that angle ABD here is congruent to angle CBD. We're also given that AB is congruent to CB. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that in the diagram. AB is congruent to CB. So the next question asks, what additional information do we know and how? So we want to provide our evidence. Well, like we said, since DB bisects angle ABC, we know that angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD by the definition of a bisector or of an angle bisector. What else do we know? Well, taking a look at this diagram, if we were to draw these two triangles separately, I'm just going to redraw. We've got triangle ADB, and down here we have triangle CDB. And if I go ahead and mark the information that we already know, so CB is congruent to AB, angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD. What we see here is that we have a shared side. DB is the same in each triangle, so therefore D DB is congruent to itself, or what we would say is DB is congruent to DB, and this is by the reflexive property. So it's saying that it's the exact same part in each triangle. So looking at both triangles, our goal again is to show that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. With this information, we have enough to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So the last piece of evidence that we know is that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD by the side angle side congruency shortcut. So these proofs are very similar to the proofs that we have done previously. What we're trying to do is prove the triangles are congruent. The only difference is we have one final step. Remember, we weren't trying to prove the triangles were congruent, we were trying to prove that angle A is congruent to angle C. Well, if these triangles are congruent, that means all of their corresponding parts are congruent. So the last statement that we would make for our warrant is that angle A is congruent to angle C, and that's by the CPCTC statement that we've referred to. So again, CPCTC stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So since we were able to prove triangle ABD was congruent to triangle CBD, we know that all of their corresponding parts are congruent, including angle A and angle C. Nice work!